Well, hello there everyone. I'm Christy and welcome to my kitchen. So in honor of the 4th of July, I have made this delicious brownie cookie cake and I've decorated it for the 4th, but obviously you can make this cake any time of year. I don't think there's ever a time when a brownie is not good, right? And this one, oh, it's the best. It is chewy, chocolatey, fudgy. It is just delicious. And then I added some chocolate frosting. So if you are a chocolate lover, you're gonna wanna make this. I am so excited to share this recipe with you all. So hang with me today. All right, so I've got all my ingredients here to make this delicious brownie cookie cake. Um, and I'm just gonna go over these with you as I make it. I'll walk you through it step by step, um, but I will leave you the full recipe in the description box below if you wanna go check it out later. But we've gotta get started because it's that time, time to get cooking. So I've just added one and a half sticks of butter that's at room temperature to a mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add a half of a cup of sugar and three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna blend this until it's smooth and creamy. All right, then I'm going to add one egg and one egg yolk. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right. The next, I'm going to combine my dry ingredients. I have one and a third cup of all-purpose flour. To the flour, I'm going to add a half of a cup of cocoa powder, a half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix this together. All right, then I'm just going to add my dry ingredients to my um, butter and sugar. And just blend this together. Being careful not to make a big mess. So the last thing I'm going to do is add one cup of chocolate chips. Now I'm using the mini chocolate chips, but you can use whatever chocolate chips you like. All right, next I have a 10 inch spring form pan that I have lightly greased and I have cut out the parchment paper to put in the bottom. And I'm just going to place this dough in the bottom of that springform pan. I'm actually gonna spray my hands with a little bit of oil just so that the dough doesn't stick to them and press, press that dough down. and then bake in a 350 degree oven for about 24 to 28 minutes till you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. All right, so my brownie cookie cake is cooling on the counter behind me. So now I'm going to make some chocolate frosting to go on top, yeah. So you will need one stick or half of a cup of softened butter, all of that butter. So I'm gonna scrape it off using my mixing beads, whatever these things are called, beaters. <laughs> then you'll need to add one and a half to two cups of uh, powdered sugar. I'm gonna start with one and a half and see where I'm at. And a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. Then I have here two tablespoons of a heavy cream, and I'm just gonna add maybe one at a time. All 
right, so I think I am going to go ahead and add a half of a more, half more cup of powdered sugar, half of a more, half a cup more. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that heavy cream. And I'm gonna give a pinch of salt. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of vanilla extract. So now I'm just putting this chocolate frosting into a piping bag. Okay, now it's time to decorate. Now this is beautiful just as it is. But since this is going to be for the 4th of July, I've got some red, white, and blue sprinkles that I'm going to add. I mean, just look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. But now it's that time to cut into it. So you guys gotta come check it out. Listen, this, this brownie is not dry at all. It is ooey gooey, but it holds together. It's just the best. Chocolate frosting. Yeah. All right, you're going to want to make this brownie cookie cake. I'm just saying. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July. God bless, and as always, I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.